infection report. Interesting. Target acquired. Oh, snap. E necrotoxin. Destroys cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model. Used only for disposal of E series assets. The toxin must be first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of an E series cells into the necrotoxin container. Oh, well, we have some of those. Alright, we have the thing to kill Evie with. Research report. Oh, we can read it. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of the several concepts for the company's next bass, next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative. Working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants on mass with minimal direct contact. Next bass was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies. Converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only um, Power of War? POW? Handling? No, Prisoners of War. Prisoners of War handling, but also combat itself. It's no wonder we had the something, 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 and even something's something organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in something of something. The remarkably progressed vic vicarian evolution. Fungus, we that we commonly term the mutamycete. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamycete genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a peak period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban slash refugee populations. The first E series specimen named Evelyn has proven capable of secreting the mutamycete from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamycete imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-inducer pheromones used for quor quorum? quorum sensing in Pseudomonas bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infections, she sub the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycy infection has progressed throughout the body's cells, so the body some things. Yeah, we're getting we're getting through this game, boys. Oh man, more. Hmm. Okay, reading time. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. Uh, the term organism is used loosely here, strictly speaking. They are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important though is that this, they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling the, these superorganisms the molded, made of mold and also molded as in shaped. Their name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, 
performing something on samples of Evelyn's body tissue, produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to something would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E-necrotoxin, which some things even in tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behaviour is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mind control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort, might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing. A parent's love. Fair deeds. Yeah, so we're now in, um, the mine. Ha-ha! And we've found a safe room. The safe. Yeah. So, we've kind of rushed to here, through the mine, but I'm hoping we're going to be, you know, that's not going to be a problem, but we're going to be okay. We've got the e-necrotoxin, which should supposedly kill Evelyn, and I think we're off to go find her now to do that. And we don't need this ammo. Ah, we haven't got a machine gun. Let's um, use the strong chem fluid though. And the herbs to make some more stuff. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's, yeah, we did. We never got, we never got the magnum. It's all right, hopefully what we've got will be enough. Right, we've got to try and open that door somehow. Ooh, chem fluid. Oh, there's a path. I need to see it. Screw you, Evelyn. Oh god. I'm gonna heal. Die. You die. Fuck Balin. Uh oh. We've only got two shotgun shells left. <laughs> Oh. Uh oh. Oh no, I missed it. I missed it. Um. Oh, I'm not using this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Yeah, we're dead. Wait, no. Yeah, we're, we're dead now. No, we're not. Okay, yeah, we are. <laughs> Oh man. Egafin, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Okay. Now what we know now? I'm gonna switch to the handgun. Fuck. Ha ha ha! 
Uh oh. Oh wait. There's a way. Oh wow, is that it? Nope, not dead. We have one shot left. Oh, and it got it! That was Pog. Shotgun shells, two. Down blow up. Nice burn if you We haven't used much of any of that. Um... We really need as many goodies as possible. I guess we use so much killing those guys. And this is the best we're gonna do. Oh, shotgun shells, hello. Okay. What's gonna happen? Okay, maybe not. Ooh, a mind map. And a save point! <laughs> 